What we tried to do a couple of days ago was we built a pink city deck with Gangplank and Gnar. Because it beats Hecarim with all the pinks. And it beats Elder Dragon because you beat them before turn 6 sometimes. But I think another really good card to beat Elder Dragon decks is Aristin. I really like this card because they can never get rid of it and you can always contest their, their 6 drops by just blocking forever. So the entire goal of this is going to be to just play like an early game, Oblivious Islander, Seedless Sentry, uh, Candlelit Prayer, Legion of the Severed, Soaring Cartographer, all so we can get to the late game of Aristin, having a card that will never die unless the opponent plays uh, Swarm Caller. But then, even if they do that, we can still use Mordekaiser to kind of bring it back with a keyword. So, that is the deck. What the hell is this? Wait, Elder Dragon is actually gone! This was always the answer, guys. Just make an Elder Dragon counter deck and you don't queue into it anymore. I actually think I cracked the code. It actually clicked. <laughs> a brief engagement, but a joyous one. This must have the landmark, right? Come in, come in. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming this is like aggro. They must have a story. They must have stories. Because why else would you play this with Jin? Oh. Oh, hello there. Oh. What's a fuzzy Mendias? Am I updrafting Janna? Uh, if I updraft Janna, what does my turn 4 look like? It's probably like Spectral Surveyor for Landmark Removal? The unsuspecting are the easiest quarry. Hey man, you're supposed to hide that in a bush. Um, yeah. I don't really know what they're playing, so it's maybe not a bad idea to keep that Vengeance. Yo, Kalo HD, welcome. I always watch your videos in the morning before college. What's your favorite deck? I always like asking this. What is all this? The Midnight Rebel! And so we begin! Definitely Faded Dogs? I haven't played that in a while. I'll bring it back. Sorry for bad English, Brazilian fan. No, you're good. You're good. You're completely understandable. Don't worry about it. Okay, no way I need two Vengeances, right? They also... No, we don't know if they have Jin or not. They haven't played that many skills. That's pretty good. I'll just use this and go for landmark removal, I guess. Oh. Yeah. There's gonna be a story somewhere. hand. At this point, maybe I get rid of the excavation. Here I am. There are no stories. I don't know that though. Like uh, Jin is so good with the stories here. Jenna. 
Yeah, I'll just get rid of this. Okay, well, the Ariston printing is upon us. Soon. Am I a bad guy if I play Eddie with Bill with Aesol? Honestly, you're not really a bad guy in general if you play Elder Dragon. It's just like, as far as people that are trying to enjoy the new cards and building interesting decks, it's just, uh, I don't know. Okay, what the hell? Okay, I feel like I should do this first, though. Like, yes, technically I could let this resolve and then get extra progress for Mordekaiser. But if I do that, it's at 1 HP and I don't know if they have, like, a hate spike or something. This has to be better. I'm kind of confused here about these plays. What's up with Braxis? They held this the entire time. Okay, very strange. But what matters is that we're alive, right? I think. One death, three. Yeah, we're alive. The only burn they would have is Jin. I realize how this car works. Yeah, I might need to lie steal from this. I'll pass for now. They could go for the drain if they wanted to. Okay. Yeah, they're setting up the drain. This is kind of a funny play. But now... I can play this and instantly get the landmark removal? Otherwise, I'd be dead, right? I have to open with the landmark removal here? Or hit. I could also attack. But it's probably better to go for landmark removal. Otherwise, I'd be dead, so... Fair. That sucks. Destiny is darkness. I am not done with you. I'm building the army. I will showcase the beauty of tragedy. Okay. I don't know why they play Jin there. Unless it's to bait me because they want to play Gwen. Alright, well, if they have it, they have it, I guess. Don't have it. And now I have my army. I mean, yeah, Gwen kills on attack, but... Gwen Jin also deals one? I don't really know. Do you think it would have been correct to pass there? It probably would have been correct to pass. Oh, it's beautiful. Ariston army. We got there. Against what I'm assuming is aggro, too. Art requires 
But Nipping Game wasn't it better to block a band and kill the redeemed prodigy instead? Yeah, it probably was. It probably was. Yeah, in my head I was pretty sure that with like an army of this I would win, but it would have been correct for sure. Uh, so if I use this on Janna, it can draw Vengeance. And they, they, they should do it here on the draw. And then play the Ephemeral, so maybe they find an out. Jin is at 1 out of 3. Gonna be at 2 out of 3 with this. I have prepared something very special. They yet have hope, fools. I should have played this, I guess. Yeah, I should have used this. Yeah, SI shouldn't have burn. And Jin only has skills, so everything is like... It doesn't beat open attacking. Yeah, did you? Okay, so this one is going to be rough if they get a leveled Viego. Okay, we have Vengeance. This does turn Vengeance into like a Mordekaiser or Ariston, though. There's that. I don't know if I like Glare that much in this deck. Like we have so much draw and cycle that maybe it's better to get rid of one Glare and add the weapon or something. Okay, so I should always do this, right? Updraft one here. Did I pick the right one? Cost more. So we do that. We get Ariston. And then we can discount this to 7, so we have a turn 7 Ariston. That's why the Cartographer is in there. Yo, Kishki! Thank you for the 13 months! Thank you, buddy. Yeah, pretty strange for them to just... I guess Soul Harvest doesn't really get any better value than that. It's just, uh, we, we gotta have this prime and ready to go for the Viego. Sure. Once I get my Ariston, buddy. You won't know what to hit you. What'll hit, what, you won't know what, you won't know what hit you. Promise. <laughs> Perfect English. What the hit you? <laughs> Streamer having a stroke? Come on, dude. Alright, here we go. Ooh, ooh, six mana! God damn! Well, watch them play like a random swarm dune caller, swarm caller of the dunes. The, the, okay, uh. <laughs> the the dunish swarm caller? Okay, they just don't want to take 8 damage. I kind of respect that. The dude. <laughs> Bro, are you okay? These names are too hard, man. Alright. <laughs> I should have probably... Uh, maybe I should have ate better. Ate more today. Ate more healthy. Ate good. Right, I'm going to stop. Before you guys get really worried. The dude. The man. I just call it a big scarab dragon. That... That's the one. That'll do it too. Okay, I would be unhappy if they choose to play Diego here. I would not like that. Stream is EP? No, not EP. I, I haven't had enough to drink, I think. So my mouth is a bit dry. And then all the words that I want to say just don't come out the way I want them to come out. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. 
man, it'll lose you the game. Or hydrate redeem. Yeah, I don't have any water. My ball is empty. Yeah, but no. Unless you have another hay spike. Go get water. Aww, the lady pickle hurt me. Thank you. She hurt me. She's getting me water. <laughs> Keeper. Wife material. Classic as I. Yeah, that's always what it comes down to. Just two Mordekaiser staring each other down, and then two hate spikes, three death scraps, vengeance, glimpse on the stack. Sometimes I make it all nice. I get like a, a tiny glass, and then I like pour the pickle juice in there. Oh, thank you. It's good for hangovers. Is that true? <laughs> I feel like I always keep Oblivious Islander because it's like what makes our decks really powerful. Oh, wait, we have it. The combo. Wait, it's kind of lit though. Like, you gotta admit that Cartographer onto Mordekaiser to draw Ariston is really cool. Is Dunka thank you in Dutch? Dunk you. So there's like a J. Like, dunk you is like, thank you, dunk you. Oh, okay, now I don't need to updraft Mordekaiser anymore. Uh, I'll do this. And you go here. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, Ariston matchup. It's all in the wrist, see? It's Badunk. That works too. We have several ways of saying it. Like, Dunk you Bell. It's more like a thank you kindly. People use that pretty often too. Oh. They're at seven mana. What's up, Earl? Uh, I guess I could keep that for sigils. It's all in the wrist, see? Let's see. Probably attacking and then venue seeing whatever unit they play. But if it's like Rond. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, that one's gotta go. That one has got to go. I don't think Spectral Surveyor matters that much anymore. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Okay, I'm gonna say it though. Opponent's playing a base deck. This is Elder Dragon of Bear, where Elder Dragon actually matters and comes down sometimes. Oh, awesome. Bro just put himself on top of the deck. It's a small problem. You called and I asked. They had two of them. Oh god. It's gonna be something crazy, isn't it? We have Ariston, plus Mordecai. What the hell? Wait, that's that's wild though. If I had a hate spike, this would be the dead. Wait that oh man. Wait, that's such a crazy play. That was not correct from opponent. I could have killed this again. Them. Oh. All right. That was that was insane, man. Oh my god. This thing is one mana, man. <laughs> what the hell? All right. He risked it for the biscuit. He did. It worked out. Um. The value from this comes from boons mostly, so I don't really care about like... Okay, that is... That is disgusting though, because that's six of them. Never mind, I take it all back, that's really bad. Uh -oh. So they have one mana, so I let this die. And then I do it. Oh, it got impact too. No, I mean, opponent, like, took a risk and it paid off heavily. I didn't even draw, like, a single hate spike or death scratch. I haven't even been updrafting them. Uh, 
But I mean, we have Vengeance, we have Death's Grasp. This will be an interesting game. Uphill battle for sure. Hmm. The storm breaks all. I, I'll do this so they don't like play another Vala Bear, right? And kill me. Tapped on her vengeance, actually. Do you see Orn's folly now? His forge's heat blinds me no longer, Valhir. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Do you see oh God. Orn's folly now? His forge's heat blinds me no longer, Valhir. Do you see? What are we at? 12. What flame withers, frost revives. If Orn could see me now! Monka shake. Twelve. Wait, two of them are stunned this way? So it's, it's bad that I'm out of mana now. Oh, I could have maybe even done the Death's Grasp on Volibear, huh? This is the first Elder Dragon I actually see on the board in like a week. It's kind of nice. Wait, nobody even has the Elder Dragon skin. Wait, I can't remember seeing the Elder Dragon skin like even once. And they're gonna be forced to block the Aristins. I think I'm just full attack in here. What's worst case scenario? You cannot overcome me. Three scissors is rotated. Just a random flash freeze would be bad. Behold my true nature! I don't have any, uh, I have one Vengeance, but I kind of need, like, another kill spell. This is two impact. I'm gonna have four blockers. They're gonna have four attackers. Volibear, oh, wait, crap, does Volibear level? I think he does. Yeah, I was, I'm always vengeancing this, though, so that's the thing. And this is 100% what I vengeance because of the four impact. I think it's fine. I, I had to attack either way. Like, I cannot attack with the Aristins. Okay, four versus four. Then just volley over Elder, that stuff. It doesn't really matter if Elder doesn't level, and I don't think he does. 18, no, he doesn't. He needs. To oh, oh, that's awesome. This is a really good draw. Yeah, so I think we're just chilling now. You should pull the Mordekaiser, I think. Nah, it doesn't really matter. He has Deathless anyway. <laughs> Plus one! Oh, dude.
<laughs> That's so funny. That's a plus two. Yeah, this deck doesn't do anything about this. What flame withers, frost revives. Okay, sure. I am not done with you. Okay, so they could play another... Vala Bear here. If they do, this goes to like 13-5. the hell is that even? My mind is a vast library of bounding oh, in truth. Okay, uh, the, the fact they found that is uh, kind of annoying. TBH. Could see me now. Better do it afterwards, right? Of three mana. Uh, so this got them two. So we know that that is Winter's Touch and Avalanche. So it's not Sky Splitter then. The thing is, this this can't block us anyway next turn. I think it's correct to do this and then play the Ceaseless, because then we have one more attacker than they have blockers. It could still very easily be something like, uh, oh, they did have it. Oh, they just had that normally, okay. Okay, so playing the Cecils now doesn't matter anymore. Six. Yeah, I think I need to go for another stack of Death Realm, so we can maybe win with Vengeance. I don't, I don't really love this play that much, but it's pretty likely that we get to activate Mordekaiser, and that's really all that matters. Mordekaiser can also challenge the five three for a free stack. Okay, so we know that that's not really gonna work. Plus one, plus three. No, it does work. <laughs> the army. Yeah, this skill is important. That's all it is. Plus two, and then with vengeance, we win it. What flame withers, frost revives. That's really bad. I don't know if that costs it. Because Elder Dragon levels for sure now, right? Oh, wait, yeah, we can gloom our own dragon. Yeah, I was like, if I think there were two ways of doing it. Uh, wait, that could. I I'll just do it now anyway. They could have another Sky Splitter, but then we have the Venues anyway next turn. Oh, that was a good game. Wow. That was a struggle. It really was. Hey, nice game, though. That was kind of cool. It was actually just like the Ariston pop-off. We, we completely just like were able to show the strength of Ariston. Truly does feel very refreshing playing against Elder Dragon when it is an actual Elder Dragon list. 
And opponent was playing it in a very cool way too. So they don't really deal with Janna very well. But we could just take like a beating. Wait, is our only one drop? Wait, hold on. I think our only one drop in this deck is Oblivious Island, all right? Oh, damn, we drew it. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. So this can, wait, we can tutor both pieces of the puzzle. If we if we go for higher on Mordecai, is there we draw Ariston? If we go for lower on the two drop, we get Oblivious Eyeliner. Wait, that's so sick, actually. I would love to see Matek get level two Eddie and then get drained by Death Roll. That's like the biggest anti climax I've ever heard of. I wouldn't do that to someone. Hey, what's that? What does this hit? Which is fast. Hmm. Outlander is such a cool card, really enables some ephemeral strategy. I really, really am happy that it's back. It never felt like it was a broken card, right? Maybe, maybe they were worried that it would. Uh, enable like some degenerate combos or something. If they can bring it back for Ariston, then I'm sure there's no actual way to break it. If Ariston doesn't break it. Fill your lungs and cry. Jana. When was the last time you saw Nico? Uh, like two days ago because I played her. <laughs> I guess. Oh, okay, soul cleaving. Yeah, I don't see Nico that often. Not really. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, would you look at that? Would you look at that? So I'm taking the heal from this. When was the last time you saw Kane? Yeah, before rotation. Believe it or not. Dang it. I mean, I'm just cruising until we get the Ariston. Honestly, I would like them to kill this board off. Oh, wait, maybe they go for the, uh, the, the, the keyword removal. For the Ariston. If they know what we're playing, they will go for that. Right? Oh, it's on. Hmm. Hey, Sonny, I don't want to make ads for another account, but there is a channel called Cosmic Hour, and this channel is great. I would like you to collab with this content creator. I don't know, man. They seem a little bit stuck up. They seem like, like proper bastards. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. They run Minimorph? Oh, you're right, they do run a Minimorph. Alright. We have another one. So, unless they have two Minimorphs. Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. Anyway, now I have three of them. What's up, Bruno Sim? Welcome. What's the purpose of that? Why would you do that? Uh -huh. Wait, if I just open attack now, is it not just lethal? Because like these two can't even block this. I think I'm just opening here, dude. Alright. I mean, yeah, block me. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Wait, what? Where did my cart go?
Am I missing something? What? Where did my card go? Wait, hello? Wait, that makes no sense. Wait, it has Deathless. So I should just do this then. What? Wait, are you unsilenced? Is this is this three three now unsilenced? It is. <laughs> yeah, this card is kind of in the way though. Cup of tea? Fine by me. Sure is dark, eh? As long as I have one Aristin, it's like fine. Zero mana. I could just do it again. I Minute mean, to kind of sing again. Yeah, kind of. Alright, well, if they don't have another one, it's kind of good. I, I, I don't really like having to use all my, like, Death's Grasps and stuff when I have a Mordekaiser here. I think I should recall Mordekaiser for sure. Yeah, that's a good call, dude. <laughs> The hell? Okay. Anyway. I think I'm quite ready for a new adventure. It feels like they don't have an answer, so there's no downside in me doing this. Except that I get, do I get them stunned? Wait, hold on. I actually don't know if I get them stunned. Please tell me I don't get them stunned. Oh no, I don't play enough Mordekaiser. I don't play enough Mordekaiser for this, I didn't know! I should have attacked with them first. But I really want to activate Brazil. Okay. I think that's fine. I don't need to print them, like, doesn't matter. Having one is enough. Misplay? Yeah, I, I play I play a good amount of Mordekaiser, but I actually didn't know which one I would get back. But it makes sense that I get one stunned and one unstunned. Because that's like the copy I'm getting back. I mean, there's like no way they win now, right? Oh, actually, I guess they have Otacon. But I need to keep the venues for that at all costs. Yeah, I only need one. I'm just gonna glimpse this. Seven mana. Oh, okay. No, then I'll just do this. Wait, did I say Aristin? I mean Otacon. I don't know if I said Otacon or Aristin, but their win con is probably Otacon. So I need to play around that. I mean, I might as well draw now. No reason not to. Is that correct? Okay. I'm kind of in the moment, so sometimes I feel like I mess up card names and I don't even realize I'm doing it until much later. 
<laughs> I corrected myself for no reason. I seem to have misplaced my uh, self. <laughs> So they got their own. I think I'm Ven using this so I can win next turn. Yeah. If I do this, I should just win through Drain anyway. We activate Brazil, we attack with everything. Yeah, the Arison, like they have so many mini morphs, and the Arison still kind of pulled through. Even with uh, the mini morph. Brazil 2! <laughs> the sequel. It's here. Yeah, GG. Die, Elder Dragon Pile, die! Witness the true dragon army. Even though they're a bit stinky. Is there any good Age of Dragon deck that don't run Elder Dragon? I don't want to feel like an annoying prick game ranked. You are now in my what? What? How did people play it before Elder Dragon? I don't even remember. It was like Elder... It was like uh, Age of Dragon's failure? Wait. Level 5 Janna, it happened. That was fast. If you're a good player, you don't really need Early Bird. Let me put it like this. If you're playing early bird, you're mostly doing it for information about the opponent's hand, right? And if you're a good enough player, you should have that anyway. And that's like, it's kind of like a really straightforward way of saying it. But it's like, you're, you're, you're essentially like putting a card in your deck that does close to nothing. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Yeah. Isn't early bird a deco for rank one deck? I still don't think that makes it a good card. It's like, maybe it works in a mirror. Like, if everybody's playing Elder Dragon, yeah, it can be pretty good to, like, get rid of an a Lattice or, like, whatever other key card they might be running. But overall, I don't, I don't actually see it. Well, what have we here? Coming through. Let's go, people. It's really good at the age drag. Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Do you think they killed Janna here? I guess we'll find out. Bro, I don't need three glimpses. Who am I kidding? Fill your lungs and. Is it really important to win against other Eddie decks? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. That's that's the only reason why Early Bird is like even remotely playable. It's it's a meta call, but even then, I don't think it's very good at that. And it like it really requires one card to be like so much better than all the other cards for it to even be like worth considering. Hello, Jace. Did you figure out how to aim that thing? <laughs> Let's just call it a work in progress. You wouldn't be so mad if Early Bird was not a good card. That... Let's get started. <laughs> One step ahead. Think I, got I think you're completely missing the point. Early Bird disrupts my very, very specific combo deck. Probably fine keeping that at two health, right? You lose against Warden of the Tribe? Yeah, sure. See, that's another one. It's, it, it, again, it's like, just assign... Wait, did I give this Ephemeral instead? Wait, I did. I did not mean to do that. Stop distracting me, chat. It's your fault. I am not responsible for this.
They're also playing that. Oh, an Albas or something? I mean, at this point, might I just, should I just play the real one? Or the fake one? I think fake one, not bad. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of they were combining with Deathless, just play it off as strategic. Replicating the power spike. I still think having an Aristan Disser would have probably been better. No, yeah, I meant to do that. You're right, you're right, you're right. What am I saying? Of course. Of course I meant to do that. What else would I be doing? Right? I don't get these plays because, again, what if I had another, like, deal one, right? Okay, so I actually think it is better to play <laughs> the fake Mordekaiser now, so we're on two mana. Yeah, of course. You generate a random card, so it'd be weird if it didn't screw me over. No, it's uh, it's just it's kind of bad. It just it's just not good, guys. I don't think I did the right thing here. But maybe they only have one ping, huh? Wait, no, no, fly. There's one fly bomb. Okay, we're fine. We're totally good. We are so good. They probably they they probably think I meant to do that too. So they're like, wait, am I in trouble if I kill this Mordekaiser? Okay. Alright. You should probably block me. You should probably block me, yeah. I think so too. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, I I have monkey brain this game, man. Hello, Jace. Did you figure out how to aim that thing? <laughs> Did you figure out how to aim that thing? Hey Rosa, got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great, we're running into heat issues. What yeah, they're building a board for the acceleration gate, so I'll just kill him. Hey, show me that again. I mean, I can live with a draw four. <laughs> I can't live with a with a big board and Jace. So next turn we moored, and then we could just try to win if they don't roll like elusive on everything. I guess we're on ten HP. Mordekaiser are levels after I bop these. We're still taking some damage here, though. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Shut up. Woo! <laughs> So I'm thinking three? One step ahead. I'm thinking one. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Mordecai is leveled. They're gonna have a vengeance though, most likely. Wait, if we just attack with these, they're forced to answer it. But I, I should always try to attack with Mordecai, though. And then we have two aid force. Yeah, maybe one Ruination wouldn't even be that bad. Or even like one Reggie in this deck. Oh, well, maybe even three Reggies. I know. If Mordecai's are hits, we're so good. Who's Reggie? This guy. His, his, his actual name is Reggie. And he's a champion. I should have checked if that was made by Reggie or not.
Have you ever seen a runation that just doesn't clear the board? <laughs> I lost one unit to that runation. will last the ages. Deal nine. Yeah, so now I lose anyway to this card. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see if it works. Suck it. Suck it! <clears throat> oh, that's Jace. Never misplayed, never punished, best player of the world. Johnny Runeterra does it again. My dragons! Alright, anyway. Stupid flash bombs. Bro. <laughs> I am not done with you. It is what it is, man. What are they gonna do to win? We, we, we got the suck active. We're gonna, we're gonna army here. I, I'm actually I'm gonna replace one. Cause I think it's good to like draw some removal. Yeah, like not that. I am not done with you. I don't think it's worth using this on this, because it just comes back if they play the acceleration gate. Nah, you're dead, dude. Don't even bother. Industry and vision, the twin pillars of built over. Can I try, Albus? Let me convert that smug face into one health. GG. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Like, we had the discussion earlier about Caitlyn just being generally good. Caitlyn was on the board for five turns and literally did like close to nothing in the grand scheme of things. I don't know, man. I've never been too impressed with Caitlyn. Thinking of other Brazilian Victor, time bomb printer, one two, Mr. Shifter.